Mark, how can investors access your funds? Investors can access our fund one of a number of different ways. Um, traditionally, you found investors accessing your funds through, well, individual investors for that matter, accessing your funds through endowment products uh, issued by insurance companies, long-term insurance companies, but also through structured products issued by banks, uh, for example. In both these products, they provide fairly tax-efficient ways of investing in in hedge funds, but also allow the investor to trade between hedge funds without necessarily um, in incurring any uh, tax penalties or, or ta tax issues. Um, but I think now for the first time um, that we are in the Cisco landscape and that we are a unit trust, effectively uh, hedge fund, uh, investors can access our hedge funds directly. Um, it, Investors should be always be careful when investing in a hedge fund from a tax perspective. Uh, people must always assess the, what, what the tax issues are between all of the ways that you can invest in a hedge fund. Um, I think what you found over time is, is investors have generally been quite comfortable with endowments, certainly with all the tax efficiencies that they offer. But again, there are a, a number of other ways that, that hedge funds can be accessed. But I think probably the most important way that hedge funds will be accessed going forward is through the LISPs. Uh, certainly when we speak to the IFAs, the DFMs, and so forth. Um, I think we're almost there. Uh, we, we have had discussions with a lot of the LISPs, and um, I think if they're not there yet, uh, they're about to get there, certainly within the next couple of months. Um, from a single manager hedge fund point of view, I think a couple of things need to happen and change from the way hedge funds are priced in order to in order for LISPs to be able to accommodate them. Uh, but again, I think we're almost there. And so for the first time, um, you know, IFAs, DFMs and so forth can access us through the LISPs. Um, I think it must be said that uh, I alluded to earlier the fact that there were one or two structural efficiencies, that, inefficiencies that probably needed to change to open up the gates to access a little bit wider. One of those is the fact that currently a collective investment scheme in securities cannot access a collective investment scheme in hedge funds. Um, I know this is on the table at the Financial Services Board as we speak. Um, and I think once the doors are open to that, I think we'll probably see a lot more flows coming in, into the industry. Uh, it's an important change that needs to happen and will happen. Uh, it's just a matter of when. Uh, but I think once, once that happens and once we do appear on the LISPs, I think that the hedge funds can look forward to, to more flows. Thank you very much for joining us, Mark. Thanks, Andrew. And thank you for tuning in to Black Onyx. For more details, please visit our website.